Good morning, Flagstaff. How did you run last week? Last week was 50, two weeks ago it was 116. 116 laps. It's 10am, I'm in Palo Alto. How many hours left to my race? Like 10 or something? Insane. Racing tonight. I'm in the first heat of the 5K. I'm seated at 15.30 and my real PR is a 16.45. I think I'm the only one in the field who's never broken 16. I don't want to run 16 something, so. You know, I felt like I'm just gonna skip the whole 16 lows, just go straight to 15, so. I look exactly the same, but I have done my shakeout. I have had lunch. I left some. Didn't want to play around with the seaweed before a 5K, you know what I mean? Yep, that was it. <laughs> now I'm gonna shower, and then when it's two hours to go, I'm gonna eat my peanut butter banana sandwich and drink my pre-race drink, which has caffeine. Ooh, okay. That's right, we are off. Rory! Let's go, Link! Run away with Link, scream, let your soul expand and spread it like good at just blabbing, just talking forever about the same thing. So I'm gonna do a little interview with myself. So first question. So the race felt tough. I've heard that in 5Ks you're supposed to lock into a pace and just, you know, have smooth laps. I was supposed to hit 74s, which I didn't do. Uh, I would run like a 72 and then a 77. So I was like all over the place. So I never got into that groove, um, which means the race was pretty painful. Uh, but I don't know how they're supposed to feel like it's my second one ever on the track. So maybe that's how they, but I have a feeling they're not supposed to be, it's supposed to feel that way. <laughs> so I really want to do another one because I want to try to actually run it smoothly and, you know, lo lock into a pace and maybe it will feel better so I can like go harder in the end. Really proud of myself for being able to run uh, 15.30 because you can always talk big and be like, I'm gonna do all this stuff, but you have to do it at the end of the day. And I feel like I did, and I proved to myself, you know, that I could do it. I'm re really happy with uh, my race. So when I was younger in high school, I saw myself as an 800 meter runner and nothing else. And then in college, I did some 1500s, but I don't know, I always felt so hard and you know, I wanted to run the 800. But then when I met my new coaches, one day Coach B talked to me and he said, well, if you want to be the best athlete you can be, you have to be willing to do everything. And I was like, I guess, okay, you know, like whatever. He, I want to be the best athlete I can be. So my only choice is to listen to my coach. And I would say, you know, I have pretty good times overall in all those events. And that was what he always would speak to me about. So it's actually been like, three weeks since I ran the 5k, I think. So I've already had time to race more. And to 
tomorrow I'm running the 1500 meters at Diamond League, Stockholm. So that's the same thing. I'm approaching it the same way. Like now it's the 15. So that's kind of how I see it. So I'm not moving up or down or anything. So I was talking the other day with my good friend Alex. Shout out, Alex Judge. And I was talking about how I've been managing pain in my hip and groin area for probably like, I guess it's been two months now. And I was talking about how I told you guys, I'm like, don't run with pain, this whole thing. So I'm like, I'm a hypocrite. I just wanted to talk a little bit quickly about running with pain as a pro. I've learned that you might have a pain and then you kind of have to assess it. If I run today and it feels horrible, I run tomorrow and it feels horrible or worse, then probably I'm like, eh, maybe I need to stop running. And then, but maybe if the pain moves around or feels less, then I might manage it. So I've been like cross training more than running and just like switching a few things. Like I didn't do much speed and flag stuff because that would hurt my groin. And it wasn't like I had a stress fracture or something. <laughs> you know, you can't run on a stress fracture. Good because now uh, I feel way better than I did a few weeks ago. But maybe if I had stopped running, the pain would have gone away quicker. So that's why I would say if you're young and you're growing, you should run with pain because that's the point. I just don't want to be a hypocrite either and be like, I never run with pain. So, yeah, it's a bit more complex when you're a pro and you're a bit older. So, what's next? I'm going to be home for a few weeks. I'm uh, renewing my visa for the US. I'm going to race a bit in Europe. Um, TBD. I think I'm making a video about being a vegan athlete because some people have been asking me about that. Um, and I've been vegan for 10 years, so I guess that maybe I'm a good person to talk about it. It's like two hours! <laughs> I put it in my mouth, two hours until I race, eating my sandwich. Thank you for watching, and please subscribe and like my channel. Uh, I've been getting some feedback from people who are doing Instagram. You can find me there, uh, yo.grombe. And it's really fun, I really appreciate it. It makes me want to make more videos. So if you like this video, please like it, comment, whatever you sound like saying. And uh, see you next time. Bye bye.